So I get a lot of emails about my overland crawler. Uh, so this is just a short video to answer most the most common questions I get. Uh, it's kind of flexy. So uh, the tires. Let's see, uh, these are Lego. Lego tires, uh, 30.4 by 14, uh, and they are custom siped to soften them up a bit. Uh, and the rims are regular racer rims, uh, the offset ones, uh, but they're kind of narrow, so I added a washer to act as a simulated uh, beadlock uh, to widen it up a bit and uh, it works uh, really good. These tires are really grippy. So let's take off the body. So the front, the front suspension is, uh, well it's almost stuck. Uh, you can see that the shock pins has been removed uh, and the top uh, and bottom of the shocks are fixed in place uh, uh, and the spring is just uh, hot glued to stay in. Uh, this makes it really soft. Uh, to get the maximum lift in the front I had to uh, uh, move, uh, flip. I flipped the A-arm upside down uh, I also heated and bent it, bent it a bit, uh, and to get uh, and to get the maximum lift, I drilled a new hole and moved it back uh, a bit here, and moved it uh, one step in the rear, just uh, to keep the interference from the servo case as minimal as possible. Uh, and it's basically the same setup in the rear, uh, but the re uh, bottom shock, uh, shock mount has been uh, cut off, uh, and I built a small aluminium plate instead to hold the springs. Uh, the rear A arm has been flipped upside down too to get uh, this really good uh, approach angle for the rear tires. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, this motor is a uh, Sanyo geared motor. Uh, I think it uh, has a 300 to 1 ratio. Um, and the reason for that is to have this really small gear on the rear axle to keep the clearance as good as possible. Uh, the rear has also been permanently locked. Uh, and it's still only two-wheel drive. Uh, I know uh, I get this question a lot, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do a four-wheel drive conversion yet. Uh, I really don't have the time, but uh, I guess it's possible. Uh, with another Sanyo motor, uh, just put it in the front with uh, some new drive shafts. So, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, message me, or mail me, or whatever.